So first I'm going in with contour. Karina has a very small jawline so I'm trying to make my jawline look smaller because that is not something that I have. I'm also going around the entire perimeter of my face in general just to make my face look smaller. That's the whole point and create a bit more dimension. Next I'm doing my nose contour. I'm going around the tip to make it look sharper and down the bridge on the sides to make it look a bit more slim. And I also like contouring under my bottom lip to make my lips look a bit more pouty. Next, I'm going in with blush. I'm using Tarte's Party. It's just a nude neutral blush. I don't want it to be like the focal point of the look, so I'm just putting it on the outer cheeks and then I'm going to blend it in with the contour using the contour brush just to make everything look a bit more seamless. Next, I'm going in with my marshmallow powder from Kim Make. I like using this to set my face. I'm setting areas that I like having a bit more coverage and areas that get oily easily. So I'm going on my T-zone, under my eyes, around my nose, chin, stuff like that. And next I'm starting with my eyeshadow. So first I took Ouch from Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar palette. I kind of regret taking this shade. It's a bit too reddish. It doesn't really match the tone I was going for and it kind of made this entire thing difficult for me. So this is sort of the base of the lower lash shadow. Focusing on the outer corners and dragging it all the way in. Yeah, and later on I have to fix it. Next, I go in with Cake Mix and I focus that on the inner half of the lower lash line and the inner corner. This is also a shade that I later had to fix because it's way too pink for this look and is not what I was going for at all. And I'm just blending it all together with a fluffy brush. Next, I'm using this Makeup Revolution Metallic and Glitter Liquid sh Shadow thing. And I'm taking the metallic side and putting it all over my lids and then blending it out with my finger. I've never really used this kind of product before, but I really like this formula. It's really comfortable and not irritating at all. I did a few layers of that on both sides, and it's supposed to be like a base for the glitter shadows that I'm going to use later on in the video. Next, I'm going back in with Puree. I'm trying to change the tone of my lower lash line. So I'm focusing that on the outer corners, uh, trying to tone down the red tones of the ouch and make it more neutral. And I'm also going in with white peach on the inner corners over the cake mix shade to tone down the pink tones. <laughs> Please don't make the same mistake that I did. And I'm blending it all together again with a fluffy brush. And next, I am lining my eyelids. So it's a winged liner look here. I usually just follow the angle of my lower lash line and elongate it when I'm doing like an upward wing. So that's what I'm doing here. I start at the outer corner and pull it out and then connect it to the top lash line and just do tiny little strokes to be precise. I was so nervous, I didn't want to mess up on camera. I think it went all right. And then I also line the top lid and I bring it all the way into the inner corner. I normally don't do this, but in the music video, Karina's eye makeup is like that. So, I am doing that here. <laughs> and then next, I'm going... Oh, oh, actually, I am cleaning it up with a concealer brush. I always do this, I totally forgot to mention. And I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, oh, I hate the color of the lower lash line. So I'm going over it <laughs> with my contour to try and neutralize. <laughs> I keep saying neutralize, I'm just trying to get it like... A regular brown and not so red. 
And then I'm actually going back in with the liquid shadow on the inner corners. I'm like tight lining the very inner corners of my eyes. In the music video, she has like almost a triangle shape there. I'm not going to use the liner for that. It's going to be too intense for me because I already have sort of close set eyes. Okay, so I'm going in with a matte black shadow over the eyeliner. <laughs> I'm just setting it. I'm making it matte. It'll last longer and it'll look more opaque. So I go over the whole upper lash line. And I also like to tight line with it, so I like going in between the lashes just to make everything look more seamless so there aren't any gaps or anything. And I'm also going to take the same shadow to do the inner corner triangle thing instead of using an eyeliner, just so it's softer and not too crazy. Again, my eyes are sort of close set. I usually don't like doing stuff like this because it's not very flattering on me, but sort of required to get the effect of the look. So I'm just using an eyeshadow. And next I'm going in with the glitter side of the liquid shadow. I'm putting it all over my eyelids, but I'm also focusing it on like my upper eyelid closer to my eyebrows because I want the glitter to be very visible even when my eyes are open. That's the whole idea. So I'm putting that all over and then I decided that the glitter is too sparse so I go in with a shimmery glittery shadow and go all over my eyelids with that just to fill in the gaps between the glitter particles. And then afterwards, I'm going to go back in again with the glitter, make sure that there's like larger flecks that are visible when my eyes are open and even when I they're closed. I want there to be like large glitter flecks all over my eye. So it all looks seamless. I'm going in areas that are a bit sparse, making sure there's a lot of glitter basically. It's the most imp important part of this look. Next I'm lining my lips. I don't want to do anything too crazy with my lips, so I'm just taking this NYX nude liner and defining the edge. And then after that, I'm going to take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Zurich, and I applied it and I decided that it's way too vibrant, so I blotted it off with a tissue to make it just like a stain and then I took NARS cruising lipstick and went over it and that kind of made it a nice medium nude shade. Nothing too crazy. Next I'm curling my eyelashes. Curling your lashes before mascara is so important. I always do this. There is not a day that I do not wear mascara without curling my lashes. It just doesn't happen. Very important, please do it. <laughs> and I'm using the Essence Lash Princess and Waterproof. I only ever use waterproof mascara. Um, I apply it quite generously. I want it to be sort of dramatic. Nothing too crazy, but a bit more dramatic than usual. And I'm making sure to go all over on my lower lash line, like on my lower lashes, all the way to the inner corners so all the lashes are coated. I normally don't do that, but I want it to be a bit dramatic, so that's what I'm doing. And then I decide, okay, my lower lash line is too warm. I'm gonna go in with a cool toned brown. So I can go in with a cool toned brown on the outer corner. <laughs> Struggling with the color here. And then decided, oh, well that's boring, so I need a taupe shimmer on my lower lash line because everything's matte and I need a little bit more going on under there. So I applied that, and then now I'm like, oh, well now it's too cool toned, so I need a warmer brown to make it a little bit more warm. So I go back in with puree, and then I'm finally happy with the tone of my shadow. And that's the finished look inspired by Karina's look in Espa's Next Level. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you!